What's up everybody, Ross Madden here. We're gonna talk about the 2020 election. Everyone is, I think, a little bit nervous um, for no freaking reason. Well, I don't know. I know that Trump is gonna win. It's not gonna be close. It's gonna be a beat down of a lifetime. Like, none of the candidates that, none of the 28 or 27 candidates that the Democrats have put forward stand anywhere close to where Hillary stood in 2016 um, except for maybe Bernie Sanders who beat Hillary in 2016 and uh, but Hillary bought the DNC for 10 million dollars and um, basically gave herself the election even though Bernie was winning in multiple state like multiple states Bernie won got most of the vote and um, Hillary just knew the super candidates or whatever and so she ended up winning that state or well, that she won more can it, like delegates or whatever they're called super delegates um, and ended up beating him so it was completely stolen because she was connected to the DNC she she g gave them a loan uh, which basically pulled them out of bankruptcy and won the 2016 election. So Bernie Sanders has a good chance, especially if Ocasio-Cortez hops on his campaign. Because I think, and I, she can't be vice president, you have to be 35, um, but she could support him and campaign with him, and I, I think she's a force. A lot of people, a lot of young women, really like what she has to say, and, um, thinks what she has to say makes sense and they support her and they they look up to her and they're like maybe I can be an Ocasio-Cortez someday and uh, maybe you can um, hopefully you have uh, hopefully you spend a little more time developing your ideas than she does but you know she she's doing it and she is strong she's got a big following and loyal supporters that's the one thing that none of the Democrats have is it's all like, oh, who are we gonna support? Like, who, which, who has the best? Well, who has the best chance of beating Trump? It's not like, oh, well, I love Joe Biden or I love Nancy Pelosi, which nobody does, because um, they're just not lovable people. They're not good people. They don't. Their um, their mission, their principles don't really match. Peoples, I think they're they've got pretty inverted principles, um, so they basically have to lie in order to get people, or just like talk about certain talking points at certain times and ignore other talking points at certain times when depending on which crowd you're in front of. Like it's the whole public and private um, agenda, or you have public policies and private policies that you're pushing. So that's uh, that's kind of a democratic thing. Donald Trump has pretty much put his public policies forward and he's followed through on a lot of them and you know like it or not he's followed through and he did what he said which is unlike a pot like any politician in my lifetime um, and that's because he's not really a politician he he's not a politician people have always been like he's not presidential yeah he's not a politician and that's just the way that's the way he is he's a little bombastic but he says what's on his mind and you know what he thinks and that's kind of cool and that's why a lot of people like him meanwhile you have fucking sorry you have Joe Biden on the other hand and um, Joe is just like the most political politician you can po like possibly imagine like absolutely every like always has that political smile going and always says something weird and uh, so the one the, let me get to the point the whole point of this is Donald Trump is definitely going to win and I know this because all you have to do is look at the Twitter his Twitter account 
you can go look at Joe Biden's Twitter account, who's leading the Democratic poll. So I'm just going to talk about Joe. Like, they're putting Joe forward. Who cares? I think Bernie has a better chance, but in any case, we're talking about Joe. 3.5 million Twitter followers. A good tweet gets like a thousand retweets. Most of his are like 100 or 200 people will retweet his stuff. It's pathetic. For a big time politician like Joe Biden, it's pathetic. It's like he's talking to an empty room, but he's actually screaming on the internet, please like me, please like me. And uh, nobody does. Nobody likes you, Joe. Um, instead, you can go over to Donald Trump's Twitter feed, uh, and he actually puts good, sh good stuff on his Twitter feed. It's informative, it lets you know what's going on with the country. Like, you get information and some laughs if you just scroll through his Twitter feed. So, it's not bad following Donald Trump, and everyone always freaks out about Donald Trump's tweets, but they're, they're not bad. And almost everybody who's like, oh, but his tweets, I'm like, do you actually follow him? Because I do, and I like his tweets, and they're always, they always say no. They don't follow him. I don't have a Twitter account, or I just don't follow Donald Trump, or I don't get on Twitter very often. It's never something like, yeah, I follow him every day, and, and uh, I'm so mad. It's it's because they're not that bad. They're not that bad. It's just the media freaks out about it, and you've been, or people have been pushed into thinking that his tweets are ridiculous. They're enjoyable. And he actually gets like 20,000 people to retweet all of his stuff. So 200 to 20,000. I mean, it's literally like if you, if Joe Biden holds a, a big rally, you know, he's going to get 200 people in the room in his little high school auditorium, you know, be a quarter of the way full. You get Donald Trump. To, Donald Trump fills an entire coliseum and then 10,000 people are on the outside like, damn it, I wish I could, I, like, they closed the doors. Dang. And then you have another 3,000, like, crazy leftists protesting, banging drums and, and chanting stuff and, um, like, that happens. It's an actual discourse every single time that this, that Donald Trump goes anywhere because he's not lying. And um, that's the reason why I like him. He's not lying. He says what's on his mind. You know what he thinks. It's easy. Donald Trump is an easy politician to understand because he just says what's on his mind. He, he, like, when he's pissed off at somebody, he tweets about it like 10 minutes later. He doesn't really filter himself. He doesn't really think it through. So if you want to know what he thinks, just follow him on Twitter. And, uh, you know, you'll, you'll actually enjoy it. Join the other 60 million people that follow him on Twitter. Let me just remind you how many people Joe Biden had. That was 3.5 million, which is a lot. But Donald Trump has over 60 million people. So it's not even close. It's a factor of almost 20. It's going to be a absolute bludgeoning. 2020, Donald Trump get on board. The Trump train never stops. Peace out, guys.